नमस्कार एफ एम आर एल टू सीरीज की तीसरा वीडियो में मैं रथिन विश्वास ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट सेंटर की रिव्यू के ओर से आप सबको वेलकम करता हूं आइए हम लोग क्वेश्चन नंबर 21 से क्वेश्चन नंबर 30 को जान लेते हैं द ड्यूटीज ऑफ सर्टिफाइंग सर्जन्स आर प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन रूल डैश ऑफ द माइंस रूल 1955 कितना नंबर रूल में है ये 22 24 23 21 25 करेक्ट आंसर इज 24 रूल 24 सेज द ड्यूटीज ऑफ सर्टिफाइंग सर्जन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द कमिटी इज ऑप्शन ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अंडर सेक्शन 12 ऑफ द माइंस एक्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अंडर सेक्शन 17 of the mines act constitute under section 13 of the mines act all of the option constitute under section 14 of the mines act correct answer is constitute under section 12 of the mines act and as defined in section 2 e the committee means the committee constitute under section 12 next question reportable injury means any injury which involves the enforced absence of the injured person from work for a period of dash 24 hours 72 hours or less 72 hours or more 72 hours 36 hours correct answer is 72 hours or more as defined in 2 pp reportable injury means any injury other than a serious bodily injury which involves or in all possibility will involve the enforced absence of the injured person from work for a period of 72 hours or more next question the techniques to determine uniaxial compressive strength and deformability of rock materials are given by isrm NGI, NRIM, CSIR, SIMFR. Correct answer is ISRM, International Society for Rock Mechanics. Next question. As per personal risk assessment procedure advised through DGMS Circular 2 of 2014, points like impact, entanglement, piercing, crushing, suction, absorption etc. are covered under none of the above frictional aspect metal to metal aspect dynamic aspect mechanical aspect correct answer is mechanical aspects in the tech 5 uh, look for hazard in serial number 9 it's mentioned in the mechanical part this impact engagement stabling crushing suction absorption and percussions are the mechanical aspect next in the mines of kankal moram gravel ordinary sand ordinary clay building stone road material provisions of mines act shall not apply under certain condition one of the conditions to be extends for the act not applied is a more than 40% shall not be employed more than 50% shall not be employed more than 35% shall not be employed more than 30% shall not be employed more than 20% shall not be employed correct answer is more than 50% shall not be employed as per section 3 sub section clause 1 act shall not apply in certain case the provision of this act except those contained in section 7 8 9 40 45 46 46 shall not apply to sub clause b any mine engaged in extraction of kankal moram laterite boulder gravel single ordinary sand excluding modeling sand glass sand and other mineral sand ordinary clay excluding kernel china clay white clay or fair clay building stone slate road metal earthing fillers earth marble chalk and limestone provided that 
where it is in open cast working the number of persons employed in any one day does not exceed 50 then other clause was there but uh, if less than 50 persons are worked then it's not applied next question the process of forecasting is based on past performance all of the option current analysis environmental condition future trend option b all of the options are correct next question delay in process occurs when none of the option someone stops the process someone takes delivery intentionally option a and b product wait for next event operation correct answer is option a and b here option a is none of the option it's not correct actually uh, this when the options are shuffled this type of problem may occur and initially it was not taken care but from 2021 fmrl question and 22 questions these are well considered and these are taken care of so this type of problem may not repeated in future exam actually here uh, someone stop the process or someone take late delivery intentionally are the causes for delay this they are why these are called option a and b next whenever a person's return to employment in open cast working in a mine after an absence from work for a period exceeding dash he shall undergo refresher training five year two years one month none of the option one year correct answer is one year as per rule eight of the mind functional training rule 1966 the scope and standard here it's clearly mentioned if the person's returns uh, a person's absent more than one year uh, after his returning he shall uh, have this refresher training uh, within one month of his uh, joining of the duty next uh, question risk assessment is possibly by identification of hazard none of the option estimating degree of hazard measurement of hazard all of three options correct answer is all of the three options thank you aapne is video dekha aur is video is series ke aur video next hum log ke karke upload karenge और बाकी भी माइंग रिलेशन रिलेटेड वीडियोस के लिए आप इस चैनल विजिट कर सकते हैं धन्यवाद